<laughs> Baby, I'm glad I was able to make this appointment today. You really don't have to make my treatment appointment. I understand. Today. Come on. Look, I insist. Okay, I'm going to be at every appointment from here on out. We got to make sure we're still getting good news and, and, and that things are still progressing. Hey, hey. How's it going, Dr. Hey, Moses? Dr. Moses. Okay, Regina. listen. I got some good news and some bad news. Why don't you tell me which one you want first? Give me the good news first, something good. Okay, please. well, good news is the chemo is working. Um, oh, when we check it right now, the chemo is doing exactly what it's supposed to do. Great. You see everything being stabilized, it's awesome. Okay. The bad news here, um, your vitals are ridiculously off. Um, we're noticing some variability in your heart rate, your, your frequency and your breath is off. But the biggest thing here is your white blood cell count. We've noticed that is extremely low. Um, I'm trying not to get too techy here, but when your white blood cell count is low, that will really affect your immune system. When your immune system is low, now we're looking at possibilities like higher blood pressure. Um, so, Sorry. Are you okay? is it? Sure. I don't. I don't want to pry too much here, but how is your home life? Is there changes? Maybe any abnormalities? Um. Uh, no. It's, um, there's been a lot of um, commotion. Chaos, well, if, if you will. It's been a few things that, that, that have kind of been, uh, that have come up, but we've, we're, we're maintaining and, and I think we're trying to get everything back on track as best as possible. So. Okay. Um, I, I, doctor, this is, this is, so you're saying that the stress levels are high oh. um, and, and my white blood cells are low. I, so that, what does that mean? Am I, is, is stuff is still working? And I, Yeah, so. When your white blood cells are low, yes, what that does, it gives a, a, an increased chance for the reverse effect of what we're doing here. Everything that the chemo is doing, it gives a possibility for it all to be reversed. We don't oh, want I've, that. I've been doing this detox thing. I've been detoxing and, and um, yeah, it's flushing. It's a natural, is, natural tea, herbal. Mm -hmm. it affected is. anything? Um, well, I'm glad to hear that you're getting your nutrients. No, that's not going to, that wouldn't be a reason on why your stress levels are high. So um, that's. I, I think it may be just more rest. I think we need to just try to get more sleep and maybe that is sleep something that could possibly absolutely uh, if you're not getting a good amount of rest that's something you want to focus on immediately definitely increase yeah, whatever I rest it's, um, been just a little hard to get adequate adequate rest these days that's um, I think that I think that's the, the main part doc I, I don't okay. think it's anything cancer related I feel like it's probably just I think that we need to sleep. make sure that I am in an environment where I am stress free I would <laughs> a thousand percent agree with that. Yes. Um, yeah. So maybe we want to, uh, I don't know, try some, uh, I know we had mentioned some stress groups before, um, some cancer groups before. Maybe. I started, I started Good. the group. Good. Okay. And, um, and obviously yeah. that's, that's helping. Mm -hmm. So I think that's something that's been uh, yeah. a priority and we're taking those steps. So sure. Thanks, sure. doctor. Okay. Absolutely. I appreciate you. Yeah. I'm seeing y'all. I think that it's really important that 